Alleluia, Son of God. Alleluia, 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 Son of God. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy, Son of God. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy, Son of God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Worthy is our God. Awesome is our God. Hallelujah. Uh, you are welcome to this Monday night, hour of transformation. God bless you. This is Pastor Beretete. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Just coming in the name of Jesus to, to just fellowship with you and just let the Holy Ghost move. Amen. And so as we're about to start, as we were about to just go on air, that song, this song came to me. It is going to be great today. Jesus Christ is already here. Holy Ghost is already here. It is going to be great today. Jesus Christ is already here. Holy Ghost, come and take control. Manda Kasarabashanta. We are here in the name of Jesus. We are here in the name of Jesus. In no other name, but in the name of Jesus. Bowing down before him, lifting his name, exalting his name, honoring his name, and adoring the name of he who is mighty. He that is wonderful. Hallelujah. Glory be to his name. Brethren, God bless you. You're welcome to Life Transformation Ministries, Hour of Transformation. Please come, for, come with me. We start with just praising the Lord. Amen. Come to 1 Samuel chapter 2. Come to 1 Samuel chapter 2. We'll read from verse 1 to 3. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. I pray that the spirit of joy meets you wherever you are because even right now I feel the spirit of joy. Hallelujah. The spirit of rejoicing, the spirit of celebration, the spirit of testimony. Oh, glory be to Jesus. This is 1 Samuel oh, chapter 2 from verse 1 to 3. Glory to Jesus. And Hannah prayed and said, my heart rejoices in the Lord. My horn is exalted in the Lord. My mouth is enlarged over my enemies because I rejoice in thy salvation. There is none holy as the Lord, for there is none beside thee. Neither is there any rock like our God. Hallelujah. Talk no more so exceeding proudly. Let not arrogancy come out of your mouth. For the Lord is a God of knowledge, and by him actions are weighed. Glory be to Jesus. Hallelujah. Lord, we give you that glory. We give you that honor that is due your name tonight. We come with joyful hearts. Hallelujah. Hearts that are filled with joy, gladness, and just saying thank you, God, hallelujah. Just want you to come and join us wherever you are. In the name of Jesus Christ, just let go of what's going on around you, how you feel. Plug into the spiritual realm and receive the joy of the Lord that is your strength. 
Glory be to Jesus. And so I'm going to read this scripture again because I really want you to catch that joy, that spirit. If you're joining us tonight, God is putting a song, a song of thankfulness in your heart. If you have not seen the reason to thank him, it means that reason is right around the corner. So you begin to press him in advance. Hallelujah. Because you see, when you press God in the time when the enemy think that he has got you, and from there you are lifting a press up to God, you cause the enemy to become confused. And the Lord will stand for you and show forth his glory over your life in Jesus' name. So right now, wherever you are. It's time to join us and just begin to lift up the name of Jesus. It's time to just bless him and allow your heart to rejoice in the Lord your salvation and in the Lord our salvation. Just begin to exalt him. He's the lifter up of our head. He's the Lord your glory. Yes, if you're bound down tonight, just begin to say, Lord, I bless you because you are the lifter up of my head. Hallelujah. You are he that exalts the, my heart. Hallelujah. Yes, you exalt the heart. Your heart is exalted in the Lord. Hallelujah. My mouth is enlarged over my enemies because I rejoice in your salvation. Just begin to rejoice in his salvation. Know that he serves the needy. Know that he helps the poor. And know that he helps the helpless. Know that he gives hope to the hopeless. Know that he gives light to those that dwell in darkness. Know that he lifts up those that are bowed down. Know that he gives us glory. Hallelujah. He's the Lord, our glory. The lifter up of our head as you join us tonight. Let this be your place to begin to exalt our God. To honor the living God. The only one that inhabited eternity. Hallelujah. That sits on the throne of majesty. Hallelujah. In that place. In that place on the north. Where Satan will never and can never return where he was cast down from and he would never go back where he was banished from and he never go back but where jesus is coming back to receive us unto himself and to take up before the lord so that we can ever praise him worship him honor him reference him lift his name high oh hallelujah Hallelujah, we thank you, Lord. Hallelujah, we honor you, Lord. Hallelujah, you deserve our praise. You deserve our worship. You deserve our thanksgiving. Hallelujah, Lord, we worship you. Oh, glory be to your name. That even in, uh, in 1 Samuel chapter 2, oh, from verse 7, Hallelujah, the Lord make it poor and make it rich. He bring it low and lift it up. He rested up the poor out of the dust and lifted up the beggar from the dung hill to set them among princes and to make them inherit the throne of glory. For the pillars of the earth are the Lord's, and He has set them, He has set the world upon them. Amen. Hallelujah. He will keep the feet of His saints. And the wicked shall be silent in darkness, for by strength shall no man prevail. I want you to just begin to tell yourself, the Lord is my strength. No man can prevail by his own physical strength. I can never prevail by my physical strength, but I thank God who is my strength, who is the lifter up of my soul, who puts the song of joy and rejoicing in my heart, who lifts me when I am bowed down? Who delivers me when the enemy thinks he got me? Who healed all my diseases? Who make me strong and make me more than a conqueror? Oh, hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, begin to bless him, worship him. Makata, lebro kotoro bo siki lebo shada. Makara bashante lebo siki yelebo shada. Oh, that man shall praise the Lord. 
Oh, that man shall bless the Lord for his goodness and for his wonderful works to the children of men. Hallelujah. Lord, we come to bless you tonight for your goodness and for your wonderful works unto us, O oh Lord. Lord, we thank you because you have broken the gates of brass and caused the bars of iron in sunder. Oh, hallelujah, makarabashanda, lebro kotorobo sinde. You deserve the glory, you deserve the honor. You deserve the worship and the thanksgiving. You deserve adoration, oh Lord. Oh, blessed be our God. In the name of Jesus, amen. Come with me, please, to Exodus chapter 15. Hallelujah. Exodus chapter 15. We read from verse 1. Now it says, Then sang Moses and the children of Israel this song unto the Lord, and I expect, saying, I will sing unto the Lord, for he had triumphed gloriously. The horse, he had, he, he, the horse and his rider had he thrown into the sea. Amen. The Lord is my strength and my son, and he is become my salvation. He is my God, and I prepare him an habitation. My father's God, and I will exalt him. Hallelujah. She's sorry. Yes. Come and open the door. My father's God, and I will exalt him. Hallelujah. Glory be to the Lord. The Lord is a man of war. The Lord is his name. Hallelujah. Glory be to the name of Jesus. And now you look at verse 11 of Exodus 15. He said, Who is like unto thee, O Lord, among the gods who is like you, glorious in holiness and fearful in praises, doing wonders. Hallelujah. Thou stretched thy right hand and the earth swallowed them. Father, we thank you. Oh, who is like unto thee, O oh Lord? Say, Lord, who is like unto thee? Begin to Amen. bless him. Nobody can compare to our God in Jesus' name. Our God is mighty. Our God is awesome. Our God is higher than any other God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Awesome in power, holy and glorious. Oh, Rabba Shaka Talaba Shikiere. Ikentele Basaka Rabba Shanda. Ele Basaka Rabba Shanda. Oh, who is like unto you, O Lord. Among all the gods, Jehovah, there is none like you. You are glorious in holiness and fearful in praises, always doing marvelous works and wonders. Papa, take your glory tonight in the name of Jesus. Wherever you are coming from, just lift up a praise. Lift up a shout unto the Lord. Lift up a shout of glory. Hallelujah. Lift up a shout of Hosanna to the King of Kings. Lift, lift up a shout of hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Amen. You want to just honor God the Father. We're welcoming God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, God the Father. Hallelujah. Yes, in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost, we are here tonight. And just as we are without our plea, but that the blood of Jesus was shed for us. But God bids us to come just as we are. Hallelujah. And he will cleanse us. Hallelujah. Even if our sin be red like crimson, he'll cause us to be white as snow. Hallelujah. Even if we, our sin be like scarlet, he said he will cause it to be like wool. Hallelujah. And like snow in the name of Jesus. So, Father, as we come in Jesus, that we humble ourselves tonight. And we ask you for mercy and grace. We ask you for forgiveness. That, oh Lord, you forgive us of our faults of our sins and our shortcomings in Jesus' name. Father, we are sorry in every way that we sinned against you. In every way we shall change you, Father. Forgive us tonight in Jesus' name. Darling Jesus, wash us with your blood. Purify us. Purge us with his son, and we shall be whiter than snow in Jesus' name. Lord, the Bible said, make me to hear joy and gladness, that the soul which you have broken may rejoice. Hallelujah. A broken and a contrite heart, you will not look down upon Jehovah. Therefore, Lord, I wash in the blood of Jesus. I humble myself under the mighty hand of God. And say, oh Lord, in mercy and in 
Christ, remember me. In mercy and in grace, remember us. Remember your children, oh God. And as you forgive us, mighty God, we ask you to lift us up, even from whence we have fallen, oh God. For you are our picker up at Jehovah. In every way we fell, in every way we missed the mark, in every way we lost it, in every way we have put ourselves in a place of separation from you. Daddy, we cry tonight and say, Abba, Father, have mercy in Jesus, that we plead the blood of Jesus. Hallelujah. We plead the blood of Jesus. Just begin to plead the blood. The blood of Jesus, the blood of Jesus, the washing blood of Jesus, the cleansing blood of Jesus, the sanctifying blood of Jesus. Maka, say, Kaleba, blood of Jesus, hallelujah. Father, Leva Saka, Ikaraba Shanta, Leva Kataria, Dalaba Kata, Iko Korobo, Sikerebo Shan, Matalaba Sekerebo Santa. Ele makata la bashanda, ila makata la babaska la bashanda le ba, ele basike le bashanda la ba, ele babasike le bashanda le maka, ora bakata la bashanda le bosika, ela bakanta le bosiki le bosa. Oh the blood of Jesus, oh the blood of Jesus. God, we lift the blood in this house. We thank you for cleansing and washing us. We begin to release the blood of Jesus in the air, in the atmosphere, in the environment. Blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus, blood of Jesus. Wash this house, purify the house, purify the environment. The blood of Jesus. Father, in the name of Jesus, we take authority over every evil presence and activity in the realms around here. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, Kabadanda Kahila Baka, Le Brokoto Robo Sike Rebo Shinda, Ikan Raba Santa Laba Sheke, every adversarial activity in the realm of the spirit against us, against this meeting, against our country, against the work of the kingdom, against the people of God and the work of God. We set fire to your root right now in the mighty name of Jesus. We take authority in the name of Jesus and say it is in the name of Jesus. Bible says at the mention of the name of Jesus every knee shall bow and every tongue shall take an oath declaring that Jesus Christ is Lord. I want you to just pray and begin to declare the power in the blood of Jesus over your life, over the everything concerning you. Yes, release the blood of Jesus and the fire of the Holy Ghost against any contrary spirit, any adversarial spirit that have put themselves in array against you. Yes, anyone. By your authority, in the name of Jesus, we put you in this array. Yes, we put you in this array. Every power that array themselves against all adversarial spirit array themselves against us, against our peace, against our joy, against the goodness of God upon us tonight in Jesus that we send you at this array we release the fire of God lightning in abundance in the name of Jesus and we call for the sword of God the sword of our Lord Jesus Christ against you in the mighty name of Jesus we declare you cannot stand in Jesus name because we are standing in the name of Jesus Manda Rabo Koto Robo Shika. The Bible says at the mention of the name of Jesus, every knee must bow and every tongue must take an oath that Jesus Christ is Lord to the glory of the Father. It is not just the knees of the believers, but every knee in heaven and earth and underneath. So we declare in the name of Jesus that Jesus is our Lord. Jesus is our Lord. Jesus is our keeper. Jesus is our protection. He's our life giver. Jesus is our helper. He's our way maker. 
Jesus Makarabo Shanda Elaba Cantalaba Shikarabo Center. Just begin to declare the name Jesus. Jesus, if you can stand up and walk around, you can walk around and declare his name. At the mention of the name of Jesus, principalities and powers of darkness have no choice than to bow. At the mention of the name of Jesus, demonic authorities, occultic authorities, witchcraft powers lose their hold over you and over us. Therefore, begin to mention the name of Jesus. Say it with assurance in the name of Jesus. The name of Jesus. Walk up and down. If you can, if you can't, wherever you are, just say the name of Jesus. 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 The mighty name of Jesus. The awesome name of Jesus. The glorious name of Jesus. Oh, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus is my freedom. Jesus is my liberty. Jesus is my salvation. Jesus is my life. Jesus, Jesus, Jesus is my salvation. Jesus is my peace. Jesus is my deliverer. Jesus, 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 as you speak the name of Jesus. Darkness must flee. Just continue to say, Jesus, Jesus, Jesus. Jesus, 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 continue to declare the name Jesus. Something great is happening in the realm of the spirit. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Jesus, 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 in the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus, Harabashi Kereba, Hilabakata Rabasha, we lift our heads, Kabra Dalabasika, Kalabashi Kereba, we lift our feet out of the fiery men, out of the mighty clay, Hilabaka, Hilabaka. Mandakataka, by the name of Jesus, we walk up on the fire. Kabranda Labakuri and I, in the name of Jesus, we went through the waters. Mandakasaka, Lebakataka, Makantakata, in the name of Jesus, we pulled us the tiny strongholds. Lebashaka, Lebekebasakata, Hilaka, Hikantala. Jesus. 
Jesus. I walk out free. I walk out in liberty. I walk out fully healed. I walk out fully delivered. I walk out successful. I walk out lifted. I walk out encouraged. I walk out promoted. I walk into my worthy place. I walk out into my life place. I walk into my increase. The word of God says, from victory unto victory, from victory unto victory, from victory unto victory. So I declare tonight, uh, in the mighty name of Jesus, I am more than a conqueror. I walk in victory in Jesus' name. Every arrow that the enemy set, uh, everyone and battle that is set in array against me, scatter by fire, because I am victorious uh, in the name of Jesus. Glory be to God uh, who has given me the victory in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. I want you to just begin to trust God because you know the Bible says that the kingdom of God suffered a violence. The kingdom of heaven suffered a violence. And the violence take it by force. You need to take by force that it belongs to you. Because whatever is out there that God has for you, it has been given to you already. But there is an enemy. The enemy does not want you to have it. The devil and his cohort does not want you to have it. Does not want you to enjoy your health. Does not want you to enjoy your liberty. Enjoy your peace. Enjoy your marriage. Enjoy the child that God gave you. Enjoy the blessing of God in your life. But the Bible says he daily loves us with benefits. In the name of Jesus. And you ought to enjoy them in quietness. Hallelujah. You are established in the quietness, in the righteousness of God. So tonight you must stand and say, not anymore shall I be hindered by the power of darkness in Jesus' name. Declare by you that you are a partaker of the covenant of grace and mercy, of the covenant of redemption, the covenant of abundant life. Therefore, any other covenant that the enemy is standing on, or whether it was entered by you, or entered on your behalf, knowingly or unknowingly, tonight in Jesus' name, we set those covenant on fire and say, you old covenant, you can no longer manifest in our lives. Tell the old covenant, the covenant of the fathers, the covenant of the mothers that they made in their ignorance. But today in Jesus' name, you say because of the new covenant of the Lord Jesus, no evil covenant will speak, will manifest, will lift his head over me, over my sons and daughters, over my marriage, over my ministry, over my relationships, over my spouse, from now until Jesus return in the mighty name of Jesus. I walk in the blessings of God. I am an I, I am a partaker of the inheritance of the saints in the light. You see, sometimes the enemy needs you to speak it because sometimes he takes his, his sleep and he begins to sneak in things. But whether he sneaks us in the dream or through revelation or through any other means, tonight we stand on the perfect promise, the promise of the new covenant, and say, Satan, you got no hold on me. You got no hold on my life. You have no portion in me. And I am not, you are not my portion either. The Lord is my portion in the land of the living. I am a sakatarabu. I want you to begin to declare I am a partaker of the divine inheritance, the inheritance of the saints in the light. The inheritance of the saints in the light. Therefore, no inheritance of darkness will speak into my life. I want you to declare that. No inheritance, no evil inheritance will manifest over you, over anything that pertains unto you. We have to speak it. We have to stand on it. Because we deal with one, the enemy. Things that he is a legalist, that he knows all the legal processes. But by you speaking the word of God, you shut him up. By you speaking the word of God, you send him out of the way. In the name of Jesus, any evil inheritance 
whether it comes from your forefathers, in the name of Jesus, that inheritance stop right there, right now in Jesus' name. Even if it was manifesting over you before, from now it ceases to manifest over you. Because as you speak and declare that you are a partaker of the covenant, inheritance of the saints in the light, I just want you to declare it tonight. I am a partaker of the inheritance of the saints and the light in Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Horabashaka. Labakata Rabasha. Madakahira Basaka. Ikontolo Boshika. Libo se karabasha. Makaraba se kehiraba. Hele makatara bosha. Manda kahira basaka. Hele makatara bosheta. Makasala. Hele makatara bosheta. He kandala baseka. He kerebo se karabasha. He kandala baseke reboshe. Declare the Lord is my light. The Lord is my helper. What can man do to me? The Lord upholds me with his righteous right hand. In the name of Jesus, my life is hid in Christ with God. In the name of Jesus, declare in the name of Jesus. That the lines are falling up to me on pleasant places. Behold, I have a goodly heritage. I have a goodly heritage. A goodly heritage in the Lord. A goodly heritage in the Lord. A goodly heritage in the Lord. Mandarabasheka. Yes, continue to speak it. Continue to speak it until you believe it. I am a partaker of the heritage of the saints in the light, in the light, in Christ Jesus. Mandaraba sheka, rebo sike rebo shanta. Mandaraba sheke rebo sa, makaraba shende rebo seka. Lebro koto rebo shinda, manda kahira bakata ta, leba kata ta 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 raba kata, he karaba kata ta raba kata raba seka. He koto rebo siki rebo koto, libro koto rebo sike rebo shanta, manda lava kete rebo sike. My eyes shall not see evil. My eyes shall not behold evil. In the name of Jesus, because I walk in the light, I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. My righteousness is of God. My righteousness is of God. Makanta rabaka, he rabakanta kabosaka, li brondo kosekeriaba, he rababasaka rabosha, just manda karabasha. If you can speak in tongues, just spend some time speaking in tongues. If you cannot, oh, just keep praying. Allow the Holy Ghost to pray through you. And just lose your tongue so that the Holy Ghost can use it. Hey, I pray through you tonight. Oh, we 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 in the name of Jesus. And the Lord said, I should speak Ephesians chapter 6. Somebody need to hear it. It is a confirmation to you. God has been releasing Ephesians chapter 6. You say, Lord, I've done everything. I don't know what else to do. 
Here's what God is saying to do in the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He is worthy to be praised. He is to be lifted up tonight. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He says, having done, having done all things to stand. And he says, stand therefore. That's our Ephesians chapter 6, verse 11, verse 13 to 14. This is your scripture. I don't know who the Lord is talking to. But if you hear me and you're under the sound of my voice, and you've been hearing this or you've been saying, Lord, I've done everything. I don't know what else to do. Well, this is what God wants you to do. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armor of God, that he may be able to withstand in the evil day. And having done all, having done all, if you know you have done all, the Lord said to stand. The Lord said to stand. He said, stand therefore, having your loins got about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness, Keep standing, hallelujah, and your feet shall with the preparation of the gospel of peace, hallelujah, and above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith ye shall be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked, hallelujah, and take the helmet of salvation and the sword of the spirit, which is the word of God, praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit, and watching God unto with all perseverance and supplication for the saint. Have you done all you know to do? Have you done everything? Then it's time to stand. It's time to stand. This is not the season to hang in there. I don't know who God is speaking to tonight. Oh, I've done everything I know to do. And I've seen what God says, stand. Stand in your faith. Stand in his righteousness. Stand in his salvation. Continue to pray. Continue to pray. Continue to manifest his righteousness. Continue to believe and walk in faith. I have done all, Lord, but I don't know what else to do. Because I'm seeing what he said. Stand, therefore. Hallelujah. Stand, therefore. Stand, therefore. This is not the time to be discouraged. This is not the time to feel you have failed. This is not the time. If the Lord is saying do something and you have done it, if you check your spirit and you have done all you know to do, then stand. Hallelujah. It's your season to stand, saith the Lord. Stand, therefore. And as you stand, stand in style with every armor of God in place. And then you will see victory. It will just be a matter of time. But if you have done all, don't lose your faith. If you have done all, if you have done all, then don't lose your faith until you see, because you will see the salvation of God. You will see the manifestation. I know a young lady that for two years was waiting on the Lord for something. And every time she looks around, other people get it. Other people were getting it. And she kept, she had prayed, she had fasted, she had done everything, and yet she didn't get it. And yet the Lord said to her, just keep praising me, just keep worshipping me, just keep blessing me. And this young woman sometimes, she gets discouraged, but I want you to know something. A few days ago was her birthday, Kabrana Kasata, Libro Kotorobosika, Makaraba Shanda, the blood of Jesus. A few days ago it was her birthday and the letter came and the letter came with the answer and the letter came and I called and she said, you know, until today is my birthday. Hallelujah. The Lord gave it to her. Because the Bible said, having done how to stand, stand therefore. When you do one, just hold on and wait. 
because it will come to pass. It will certainly come to pass. And I don't know who God is talking to today, but I come to tell you it will come to pass. But from now to the time of manifestation, stand there for, hallelujah, stand there for, stand like a soldier, stand prepared, stand with everything you have, stand and refuse and refuse to bow down. Stand and refuse to come in. Stand and refuse to give up. Stand and refuse to give up. To, to give up hope. Stand and know that your helper is Christ. He is a lifter of your countenance. He's also the lifter up of your head. And he said he's the Lord your glory. But this is your season to stand. This is your season to stand. God, I can't understand this. God, what is going on? Stand. Hallelujah. But if God is saying do something, make sure you do it. If God said fast, take time and fast. If God said go and bless, take time. If God, whatever God said, whatever is dropped in your spirit, whatever, make sure you do at that. In Jesus, or whatever God said to do in preparation, make sure you do it. And then after you have done all, the Bible said to stand. The Lord said, that's your word tonight, brethren. I don't know who I'm speaking with to, but I believe that's what God is ministering tonight. This is what the Holy Ghost is bringing forth to us tonight. Having done all, to stand. Stand therefore. Have you done it? No matter what the doctors say, stand. Amen. You have believed. You received the word of God. You stand on the word. No matter what the doctors say, stand therefore on the word of promise. Amen. 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 No matter what the letter said, and you look at it, stand on the word of promise. In the name of Jesus. Stand. When God speaks, he makes it happen. And God does not even work. When there is a look, you, know, you can look and say it's possible. Or oh, this something. No, no, no. Yes, but when it is definitely impossible, but you stand. Hallelujah. When it is out of your hand, but you stand. You have done all you know to do. And nothing happened. Keep standing. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. This is our prayer tonight. I'm going to let you pray again, brethren. They massacre. Hey, Kanaba Shata. What is the hopeless situation? Kaba Santa Laba Kuraba Shata. Hey, Laba Katalaba. The message I come to bring is hear God. Listen. Is there any instruction? Is there any directive from the Lord that you have not done? Is there anything that God has been putting on your heart to do? Is there anything the Holy Spirit has been laying on your heart to do? Then please make sure you do it. By all means, do it. Amen. And after you have done all that you have to do, then stand. In Jesus' name. In the name of Jesus. In the season of waiting, stand. In the season of expectation, stand. In the season of hope, stand. Stand, saith the Lord, in Jesus' name. And the Lord says, and your expectation will not be forgotten. It will not be broken. God does not disappoint and he does not fail. In Jesus' name. The last scripture. We're going to read and we pray on it and then we close. Praise God because I believe what we're ministering exactly right now is what the Lord wants for us to share. And I want to thank the Holy Spirit. Hallelujah. I'm going to read the scripture in Numbers 23. Hallelujah. From verse 7. 
I want you to open the scripture if you're online there with us or when you're watching this recording and you get here, please take your Bible, open the scripture. Numbers 23 from verse 7. And he took up his parable and said, Balak, the king of Moab, had brought me from Aram out of the mountains of the east, saying, Come, curse me, Jacob, and come, defy Israel. How shall I curse when God had not cursed? <laughs> or how shall I defy whom the Lord had not defied? From the top of the rocks I see him, and from the hills I beheld him. Lo, the people shall dwell alone, and shall not be reckoned among the nations. Who can count the dust of Jacob and the number of the fourth part of Israel? Let me die the death of the righteous, and let my last end be like his. The death of the righteous pleases the Lord. Amen. Glory to Jesus. Verse 11, And Balak said unto Balak, What hast thou done unto me? I took thee to curse my enemies, and behold, thou hast blessed them altogether. And he answered and said, Must I not take heed to speak that which the Lord hath put in my mouth? And Balak said unto him, Come, I pray thee with me, unto another place from whence thou mayest see them. Thou shalt see, but the utmost part of them shall not see them, thou, and shall not see them all, and cast them from thence. <laughs> and he brought him into the field of Zophim, to the top of Pisgah, and built seven altars, and offered a bullock and a ram on every altar. But he said unto Balak, Stand here by thy burnt offerings, while I meet the Lord yonder. And the Lord met Balak, and put word in his mouth, and said, Go again unto Balak, and say thus. And when he came to him, behold, he stood by his burnt offering, and the prince of Moab with him. And Balak said unto him, What had the Lord spoken? And he took up his parable and said, Rise up, Balak, and hear, Hearken unto me, thou son of Zippor. God is not man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. Has he said, and shall he not do it? Or hath he spoken, and shall he not make it good? Behold, I received commandment to bless, and he had blessed, and I cannot reverse it. You walk with the irreversible blessing of the Most High God upon your life. Doesn't matter what coven people go to, what altar, into what debt they go to consult Satan to curse you. They cannot curse whom God have blessed in Jesus' name. And you better believe it. When you feel it, don't be scared. Begin to speak the blessings of the Lord upon your life. Even as Balak spoke, he said, God is not man that he should lie. Neither the son of man that he should repent. It doesn't matter where you go to, to, to conjure. It doesn't matter where they go to project. Hey, hey, kabasa, to enchant, to make divination. Kabasa, takahiraba, he kataka, incantation. Kabarada, he kabrabasa, kiereketereba, harraba kataraba ka. I declare tonight that only the word that God has spoken concerning you. Your life, your family, your loved ones, concerning us, our ministries, concerning our church, our life and purpose. Oh, Kabbalah, the Kahina, Bakata, Kebosoko, Lomosike. Everything that concerns us is only the blessing of God that stands. And God is not man that he may repent. You cannot buy him, bribe him with burnt offerings to change his mind over me, his beloved servant. I want you to say that to the enemy. Wherever you are, say, oh enemy, 
you cannot buy my God with no bribery to change his heart, to change his blessing over my life. Declare I am a recipient and a carrier of divine blessings of God and his blessings are irreversible. In Jesus' mighty name, Mada Kasata, Lebo Kobo Sika, Helaba Kataraba Shike Nikaraba, Lebo Sike Lebo Sheka. Whatever you stand to my you receive the blessing of the Lord in the name of Jesus and stand on the truth. Yes, Kaba Sataraba, on the platform of the word of God. And let the blessing of the Lord manifest over you. Do not allow yourself to fear the enemy in the name of Jesus because it doesn't the height, the level, the depth, the extent they come to hurt, to bring evil, to bring a curse, to bring witchcraft, any incantation, any divination, any enchantments against you, your loved ones, your family, against us, against anyone that pertains to us, it shall not stand in Jesus' name. For God is God, he is no man, and declare, I carry the irreversible blessings of God upon my head in the name of Jesus. I want you to put your hand on your head and say in Jesus' name, I carry, I am a carrier of the irreversible blessing of God in the name of Jesus. And I stand on the word of God tonight. In the name of Jesus. And that word cannot be broken. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You want to just begin to thank God. Wherever you are joining us from tonight. Wherever you are under the sound of my voice. I declare the word. I said read it for yourself. In the name of Jesus. Numbers 23. Hallelujah. From verse 7. Oh, glory to Jesus. Manda kahila ayakaha lebo koto robo shika. Manda kahila bakata hela bakata raba. I want you to come down to verse 23. Hallelujah. So surely, oh, surely, oh, surely, I say surely, 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 there is no enchantment against Jacob. You declare that word. You are in covenant blessing, covenant relationship with God. As he spoke concerning Jacob, he's speaking concerning you. His word is there. All you need to do is pick it up and let it come to pass in your life. In Jesus' name. Glory. So it says, surely. There is no enchantment against Jacob. Neither is there any divination against Israel. According to this time, it shall be said of Jacob and of Israel what God had wrought. That is the testimony that they will hear concerning you, your household, your loved ones, and your life endeavors concerning the healing, your healing, your health coming forth, concerning you walking into liberty. Because no more divination against you. No divination, no enchantment, no incantation. In the name of Jesus. Makasa. Any altar where they call your name. The managers of the altar will cry out. The altar will cry out and say, not here. Because we are not ready to die yet in Jesus' name. Oh, hallelujah. God oh, will keep God glory. So fear not. O daughter of Zion, fear not. O child of God, fear not. O son of God, in the name of Jesus, manda kahira basheke. For the word of God does not change. In Jesus' name, having done all to stand, stand therefore. You declare this word, stand therefore in Jesus' name. Amen. 
Hallelujah. Man, that we just want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Holy Spirit, as you minister to your sons and your daughters, as you minister to us, Jehovah. We thank you that you're powerful. We thank you that your word is great, your word is light. The Bible said the entrance of your word will get light. Oh, my Kasarabashada and life. Hallelujah. Your word is spirit and your word is light. Your word is the fire and the hammer that breaks the rock in pieces. As for us, we walk in victory. We are the partakers of the promise of God. Partakers of the inheritance of the saints and the light. Hallelujah. Covenant blessings, covenant promises upon our heads. Just as he does not lie and he cannot repent. He does not break covenant and mercy. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus, with those that love him, that fear him, that serve him, that keep his commandments, that seek after him, that long after him. Oh, hallelujah. Father, we thank you. We just want to say thank you, God. Blessed be your name, O oh Holy Spirit. Thank you, Jesus. You're forever faithful. What you have done tonight, only you, Jehovah, know the extent and the pit of hell know the damage that you God have done to them this night through the, us through this prayer Jehovah and the deliverance you have wrought for us we can only say thank you we bless you just begin to bless the Lord wherever you are say so, Lord I thank you Lord I bless you Lord I honor you Lord I adore you in the name of Jesus. When I'm done, but I'm going to read the scripture and I'm that close. We are going to close tonight. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Mm. He is excellent. 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 Hallelujah. Excellent. Hallelujah. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. First John chapter 5, verse 14. I'm giving you the scripture because that's your authority and that's our authority. Take this word and this is your victory. Hear what the Bible say. First John chapter 5, verse 14 to 15. And this is the confidence that we have in him. That if we seek, if we ask anything according to his will, he heareth us. Verse 15. And if we know that he hear us, whatsoever we ask, we know that we have the petitions that we desired of him. Amen. And this, and on this note, we close with thanksgiving, with praise, thanking God, because tonight we know that we have that, that we desire, because we know that he heareth us. Amen. Hallelujah. Glory to Jesus. Thank you, Lord, in Jesus. And be blessed, brethren. Receive and enjoy your blessing. Make sure you have the faith to carry this word and to stand in confidence and know that what he said he will do, he does. Amen. Remember the scriptures that he gave us tonight? Ephesians chapter 10, I believe it's 13 to 14, or 13 to 15. Numbers 23, from 7, I believe, to 20, or you can read all. First John chapter 5, 14 to 15. God bless you in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. We want to thank you for joining us tonight. But most importantly, we want to appreciate the Holy Spirit. We want to appreciate God who manifested, who showed himself. Oh, hallelujah, Holy Spirit. I know. Yes. If nobody knows, I know the extent to which you ministered because I knew how that I was empty and that you ministered. And I just want to say thank you. Hallelujah.
So we appreciate God the Father, God the Son, and God the Holy Ghost. And we thank you for answers. I thank you for speaking and manifesting. Thank you for the effectiveness of this ministration tonight. In Jesus' name, that somebody or some people have received of the Lord in Jesus' name, including me and my household, including this ministry, we have received. Amen. So we give you glory, Lord, in Jesus' name. Amen. <laughs> After all, it says that the farmer, the, 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 the first partaker of the harvest. So if nobody believes, I believe, I receive. But I pray that you receive as well. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. We love you. By God's grace, we'll see you on Thursday at 7 p.m. when we do Bible studies. Continue to lift us up before the Lord as we also pray for you and we love you with the love of the Lord in Jesus' name. Continue to manifest in grace, in mercy, and in divine love of Jehovah. Amen. May God bless you on behalf of my beloved husband, Pastor Solomon. I want to say God bless you. We say thank you for joining us. We love you and appreciate you. Have a wonderful night in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen.